welcome to my channel go digit today in this video we will learn about fixed asset reclassification so guys according to this concept we uh, we can not only transfer our fixed assets from let's say one department to another department or in case we want to change the class of the fixed asset or in case we want to change any particular thing with respect to that particular fixed asset we can do that via fixed asset reclassification journal so there are currently two three concepts which fixed asset reclassification journal helps us in achieving those so first thing is to transfer the fixed asset from old to the new one and the second thing is that we can split our fixed asset uh, like uh, one fixed asset can be divided into two or three fixed assets or what we can do is that we can combine the fixed assets as well so let's see in this today's videos the concept of transfer of fixed asset and splitting up the fixed assets so here you can see that i have created four fixed assets so yes the first step is that you at least own some fixed assets so the first thing is that you can see that this fixed asset I have named it as original so the thing is that this is the uh, first fixed asset which I already own and it has the book value of 1000 okay so when I go to the book value you can see that acquisition entry is already been posted against this fixed asset and the department code for this fixed asset is production so let's assume a case that fix as this fixed asset is currently available with the production department and now I want to change this uh, fixed assets from the production department to the administration department okay so uh, as we know that we cannot make changes in the FA ledger entries although if we want we can change the dimension of this fixed asset from production to administration but that is not the right way of doing it because the acquisition book value still owns by the production department and it will be highlighted in their ledgers only okay so to do this concept what we have to do is that we need to create a new fixed asset card okay here I have done the same <coughs> and you can see that currently book value is zero and if we see the dimension I have already set the dimension of this fixed asset as administration department okay so now everything is just ready we just have to use the FA reclassification journal through which we will transfer every aspect of this fixed asset to this new FA so to do that you just have to type here fixed asset reclassification journal and click on this link so it is simply like a uh, like the journals on which we used to do the work like item journal or journal journal and the stuff like that so what we need to do is that first of all let's set the FA posting date as 1st of January 2023 only and the document number I can put like this here the FA number this column should hold the original FA <coughs> sorry guys so here I have set the FA number as the original FA and in the new FA number we have to use the new FA number on which we want to do the transfer so I hope you now understand the concept of this FA number column and the new FA number column okay this should contain the old FA and this should contain the new FA now if you see here here we have to do is that reclassify acquisition cost percentage that do you want uh, the complete acquisition percentage to be transferred to the new FA yes I want 100% okay in case you don't want or in case you want some 50% or 40% so you can mention that number here and system will transfer only that particular book value from the old FA to the new FA okay and this one yes I want the reclassification 
I don't want uh, reclassification depreciation because there is no depreciation happened in this currently my old FA number. In case you have already posted some depreciation then you should click on this number as well. This column as well. Okay, right now I am not doing it because there is no need. Okay. Now, once you are done with it, just click on reclassify. So, it is saying that do you want to reclassify the journal lines? Yes. So, you can see the message that journal lines were successfully reclassified. Okay. Now, uh, if I show you an like my original the my new fa number the book value is still zero which means that reclassification journal does not post anything to the ledgers but it just create fix asset gl journal okay you just open this and here you can see the lines are available that from this original system will be moving everything to the new FA. You can check out the details that the original book value were 1000. So it is doing minus from minus from the original FA to the new FA. Okay. <coughs> Sorry guys. Now just click on post. And that's it. Now, if you see your original FA, its book value is gone, zero, okay. That means first it was in the positive side, then second one is in the minus side. And you can see that reclassification entry column is ticked to yes. That means it is reclassified. Now, if we open the uh, our new FA number, we can clearly see that our book value is uh, having the thousand number and this time my department code is ADM. So I have successfully moved my fixed asset from the production department to the administration department. Right guys? So this is the way through which you can do the transfer of fixed assets. Okay. So now we have successfully done the transfer. Let's learn the second concept of splitting of the FA. <coughs> so you can see that I have created two new FA cards with the number split one and split two. If I show you the card, currently book value is zero. Split two FA is also zero, nothing. So let's do one thing. What I want is that I want 30-40% or some, some number should be moved to these two FA as well. So let's do the same thing. Open the Fix Asset Reclassification Journal. This time I will select <coughs> <coughs> the my new FA number which is 120 and here I will select the split one okay I will create another same line and select the same FA but this time I will select the split two as the FA so here let's say I want 25% to be moved to split 1 and 25% to be moved to split 2 FA. Okay. So let's take this. Let's take this. There is no need for any depreciation because there is no depreciation entry available. So what it will do? It will create the FA GL journal line where it will move 25% of the acquisition cost from my transfer asset to the split 1 and to the split 2. Let's click on the reclassify. Same step.
you can see lines have been created okay just click on post successfully posted you can see the book value now 250 for this one 250 for this one and 500 is gone from my original FA right so this is the way of splitting up the FA from one FA to multiple FAs so uh, in this video I just wanted to share this concept only like what is the use of the FA reclassification journal in case <coughs> sorry guys in case you want to uh, learn the concept of the fixed asset what exactly the fixed asset is what is acquisition entry what is depreciation entry so uh, I have created uh, a very uh, uh, three videos three part videos for the fixed asset concepts only in my channel so what I will do I will add the card in, in this video so that you can learn that concept as well in case you don't know about the fixed asset okay so thank you so much guys for watching this video in case you like it please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching